Alright, what is going on people? It is Alex here, and uh, today I am uploading on Scandinavian Kids channel, as I'm sure you can see. Uh, this is a gameplay of Black Ops 2. I was in the lucky position to get the game a couple of days early, so um, I've played uh, a couple of days of the game already. I got the game on Friday, and it releases on Tuesday, so yeah. Um, right here I am using the MTAR, uh, with the sil no, not silence direct, excuse me, the f target finder and the, the foregrip. And my perks are uh, hardline, toughness, and dexterity, uh, which is actually a quite a good uh, setup. Ex except uh, hardline is kind of—I don't really know if it works that well for domination, to be honest, or uh, not uh, well uh, on team deathmatch, to be honest. But uh, I'm sure it does, and uh, you get like score streaks uh, a little bit earlier, and uh, that's actually what I want to talk about today. Uh, the sc score streaks. Um, this kind of naming kid uh, or Muhammad, as you might know him as. Uh, Ask me to talk about the score streaks and you'll have to excuse the gameplay, it might be a little bit campy, but it's quite a good score and, uh, well, I mean, if you want to perform well, you gotta stay a little bit campy, I guess, <laughs> but anyways, so onto the score streaks, um, I'm sure I can talk a little bit about which ones are good and which ones are not good, and, well, uh, a little bit about getting them and in, co in comparison to earlier Call of Duty, Call of, Call of Duty sorry, and, uh, and stuff. So um, let's start off with uh, just uh, say, uh, saying which ones are good. So you have the UAV, the uh, RCXD Hunter Killer Drone Care Package, uh, Counter UAV, and Guardian on the first line. And those are kind of like the lowest tier ones, to be honest. And uh, well, uh, the UAV is quite good in this game just because uh, Ghost is unlocked at such uh, a late level. So there's not not going to be that many people off the radar, to be honest, at least not in the beginning. But uh, the Hunter Killer Drone, um, yeah, well that one is it's kind of like it flies up in the air and it dies down on people. So uh, to be honest, I think it's quite annoying just because it's, it promotes like stupid death, uh, to be honest. And uh, that is something that I do not like. And well, the care package is what you've always known as, like it's just... Uh, you're rolling the dice basically and getting whatever is uh, or like you get a random one. Uh, the counter UAV, that one is actually pretty good in this game to be honest. Uh, it jams the enemy radar in like a weird way and here you can see I get the AGR I think it's called. Uh, the little uh, robot thingy that drives around and shoot people and that one is actually really really good. I would absolutely recommend you guys uh, use it. Uh, okay, next on, uh, the Guardian turret, that's kind of like a turret that blinds the enemy, and it's, it's okay, I guess. Uh, put it on choke, uh, choke points and, uh, lines and lines of sight and stuff, and uh, it can actually blind people quite good. Um, okay, so the next line is uh, Hellstorm Missile, Lightning Strike, Sentry Gun, Death Machine, War Machine, and Dragon Fire. Okay, so the Hellstorm Missile is kind of like the Predator Missile. Uh, it goes down, and uh, the only new thing is that you can like deploy it earlier, so that it uh, shoots multiple uh, missiles down and uh, covers a larger area. Of course, with uh, kind of less uh, accuracy, but uh, I think it's kind of good, I guess. Um, I don't really like it personally that much, be just because it kind of takes time to to get it from from like the sky and down to to the ground, and. Uh, if you deploy it too, too soon, you'll just uh, just miss all your targets. But anyways, okay. So the lightning strike, as you might have seen earlier, that was the one that I pointed three dots on the, on the screen, and uh, that is really good as well. Uh, the other ones is, uh, in that line is not too good, but uh, then the AGR, that one is awesome. That's the little uh, controlled thingy that drives around. Uh, okay, next one. Which ones do I like? I've tried all oh, the orbital we we sat. That's just like the blackbird from Black Ops. So that one is really nice. Uh, the EMP works as always. Uh, kind of removes the enemy, uh, like electronics, and uh, the load star. And uh, I I haven't really tried that one. I don't know what it does. And uh, then the next one I want to talk about is the K9 unit, which is uh, the dogs, and. Uh, those are good as always, we can suppose. So, uh, which ones do I recommend? I recommend, well, kind of the counter UV, although it takes quite a long time to get in. Uh, the lightning strike and the AGR. That, uh, that's what I would recommend, and uh, that's what I use. Uh, oh, and one more thing. 
they're kind of harder to get this time around, so you gotta work a little bit more for those uh, score streaks as uh, the game ends. And uh, well, it was a little bit campy and uh, kind of ran around a little bit, but the main point was that you so that you can see what the AGR can do because that is really awesome. It drives around and, like shoot people and stuff. So, and you can also uh, control it yourself. But anyways, the game is wrapping up here. So I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Please check out my channel.